what's going on cancers thank you to everyone that's liked shared or subscribed if you guys have purchased a reading or if you have donated to my page i appreciate you guys so much thank you thank you thank you if you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. And if you are subscribed to me currently, guys, and you have not been getting my notifications, um, please unsubscribe and resubscribe. That way um, you can get those notifications back, okay? This energy could be masculine or feminine. We're just going to check on it for you and see what's going on, my loves. Um, thank you guys for finding me again if you are returning and if you are finding me for the first time welcome 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 okay so let's get into this energy okay let's see what's going on what's the feels again i thank you all so much cancers All right, so it's looking like you guys have someone that knows that they are not worthy of you, okay? This is someone that may have felt like they could give you something that you uh, would see as something that you needed at the time. So I'm getting like a pacifier type of energy. So someone figured, yeah, I'll give them this D or this you know what and they'll be okay so as long as i can give them what they need or what they you know what they crave from me we're good okay but this person knew that they were not worthy of you in any other way oh boy <laughs> so they didn't want to tell you that they um were not thinking about having the type of relationship or union that you guys were thinking of, right? They didn't want to tell you about that. But this is a thing, okay? Um, what I'm feeling like is that this person, yeah, they did care about you. Yeah, they did like spending time with you. But I do feel like whoever this person is, they just did not have the balls to tell you the truth. But this is a person that also stood in their ego. So they were very strong-willed, very, um, very loud, very bodacious, um, as well. Like, so I'm getting the energy of, you. say, okay, say you go to a basketball game, like NBA, something like that. I'm feeling like this person would be the type of person that would be screaming stuff at the players from the seat. You know, like, look at me, look at me, look at me, hear me, hear me, hear me, just loud for no reason. Okay, maybe have a loud laugh as well. Hopefully you guys know who I'm talking about. So look, it says no courage, uh, no courage, afraid to tell the truth, afraid to do the right thing. Um, so spirit came at this person and said, you know, you do know it's your duty to tell this person that you don't want the same type of connection that they want, you know, and it would be very selfish for you to indulge in whatever this person has to offer if you're not going to treat it the right way because you know what god doesn't play about y'all cancers okay um this is the energy coming through right so if you're not going to do right by this person stay away from this person okay um and this person had you know things that they were dealing with on their side you know ego based things as well like that ego was very very strong for this person but I feel like behind that ego, this person may have gotten to you or may have tapped into your heartstrings because they showed you another version, right? They may have been very loud, very bodacious out in the street or very bossy, what have you. Um, but behind closed doors, this person showed you another side to them. And... Little does that person know, like, that is an accurate side of them, right? They just show their facade out in the street. So this person is getting signs and synchronicities that you are the one for them, Cancers. Because, you know, the you know, like I said, God's source does not play about you, right? The synchronicities that they're getting now are saying, hello. You know, it's almost like somebody keeps knocking on the door, like, and you can hear the person in there talking behind the door, right? But the, the person inside of the house, 
is acting like they can't hear the door and they're acting like you can't even hear them. This is what, what type of energy this is. God is like, I know you hear me. I know you see me. I know that you can understand what I'm saying to you, right? I know that you see these numbers coming at you as well. And you know that I'm talking to you. Whoever this person is, is very stubborn, right? This is a person that since they've been away from you, they feel like they should have treated you a little bit different. They should have come to you in a way to where they were able to nurture or to water a relationship with you, right? So we have the beginnings card here. So they could have been someone that was like, you know what? I don't really see how I can have something with cancer on the level that I want to have something with a person or maybe cancer uh, will not... Um, be okay with the type of union that I want, whatever that means to you guys. Um, but I do feel like now, based on whatever it is that they've went through um, in this time apart from you, I feel like they are now saying, why didn't I just invest in cancer? Why didn't I give cancer more of my time, more of my energy, or more of what they needed from me? So we got divine feminine energy coming through. Now, this is um, masculine or feminine. And I do feel like you were in your divine feminine spirit. That was your energy coming through cancers, okay? Uh, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter because we, we um, have both within us, right? Masculine and feminine energy. But I feel like you were the one um, that were, were in the fields with this person. And this person was more aggressive when it came to you. Now, spirit is pulling this person through an awakening. Okay, so this can be pretty painful for a person that, number one, may not have moved spiritually. Um, number two, let me put this card here so you guys can see it. Um, number two, um, they don't really understand all the elements of things that's, that's happening within them. Um, this could absolutely be a person that feels like you could have a spiritual side cancer and they may want to ask you about some of the things that have been going on inside their lives or some of the supernatural things that they have experienced since they talked to you last. I do believe that spirit is going all out. God is going all out for this person and trying to get them to pay attention. And it could be that things are moving in the house or maybe things are, are missing or they're seeing things out of the corner of their eye. You know, it could be different things happening as well to where they feel like maybe animals are watching them or um, maybe birds are talking to them, okay? Um, I'm seeing all these things happening and I'm feeling like this person is saying like, what in the world is going on? You know, you may have talked to this person about, you know, certain spiritual things that maybe you've seen as a child cancer or maybe um, people in your family have experienced. Uh, but I feel like this person, when they think about some of the things that they're experiencing now, they think about you first because you're the one that may have brought up these things in passing. And they say, oh, well, I know cancer would understand why, um, you know, this is happening to me or why I'm seeing this number or why, you know, I'm feeling this way. The unworthy card is coming back to me, though. Spirit keeps tapping into that because this person is saying, you know, I wish I would not have done, you know, uh, cancer the way that I did them. It's a lot of regret coming through, guys. Um, because this person knows and they understand, you know, that they messed up. They understand that they didn't make the right decision when it came to you, okay? Um, and they're feeling the remnants of that now. So hopefully you guys know who I'm talking about, you know? Uh, when we get to the tarot cards, we'll have a better outlook of, you know, what the signs are. Uh, but let's continue. Uh-huh. They don't like that you guys broke up. Thank you so much, Spirit. They don't like that you are not seeing eye to eye. They don't like that you guys have your back turned to each other. Um, and you're not checking for them anymore. Okay? Here we go. The numerology is here. These, these are the signs and synchronicities. Somebody here could be seeing 111, 777, 555. Um, you could be seeing repetitive numbers. You could be seeing um, numbers in a row, too, like two, three, four, stuff of that nature. Um, this person doesn't like 
that you cut the ties with them. Okay. They feel like, yeah, I know I was doing some things that was wrong, but uh, with within everyone that I've dealt with, cancer is the only one that's ever cut me off. Okay. Cancer really cut me off. Like this person cannot believe that your, your cutoff game was real cancer. Right. Um, and this is a lesson for them. Right. Because they need to understand that they cannot uh, treat God's people the way that they have been. Um, this is a person, like I said, that's very ego based. So they feel like they're entitled to deal with people on the level that they deal with them on. But spirit is telling them and showing them no, this is not okay. Some of you could be dealing with someone that works in law enforcement. This person, um, they could be military. They could be a dispatcher. This could be also a person that has a, a record. Um, they could have been in jail. They could have been in um, juvenile hall or something of that nature at some point in their life. This could be someone that's basically um, been arrested on some type of level. And if they weren't arrested, they work in maybe corrections or um, or law enforcement. They could also work in the courthouse. All right. So this person may be house hunting now because wherever they've been, they have to leave. Um, there's someone that was looking into things that they were doing, things that they were saying. And since it was not adding up, the person is saying, you know what, you got to go. This could also be a reason why this person has no choice but to look back on the energy that they shared with you uh, with regret because, you know, you never treated them like that. This person could be into drugs, too, um, could be, um, you know, either uh, suppressing their feelings with drugs, okay, or they can have an addiction to it. Take it how it resonates for you. You know, um, they are trying to keep up with their energy or keep up with their temper here. Um, this person could also live in a state that experiences tornadoes. Take it how it resonates for you. One more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. They could work as a manager also, or you could be some sort of manager. Or this person could have felt like you were trying to manage their life or their career. Um, and they could have felt like you were trying to control them. And this is an energy, like I said, with that ego um, that feels like, yeah, no one can tell me what to do. No one's going to, you know, treat me in essence how I treat other people. Because I do believe this person was kind of bossy. They may not have um, taken too well to you trying to manage them or you trying to help them or show them some sort of love and care that they're not used to. Okay. I do believe that this person, you know, now, you know, uh, based on some things that they've experienced, they now know that you were just trying to be loving and caring and you were trying to make sure that they were okay. Um, and in no way, shape or form were you trying to control them. You were just trying to ensure that they were good. Okay. Um, but who made sure that you were good? Cancers. Right. So you are in your feelings about this person. We have anxiety. Okay. We also have Gemini energy here uh, coming through. Right, so we have nine of swords, uh, fear, anxiety. Okay, um, this person made you feel overwhelmed, you were very stressed out when it came to them. Um, you were in a spot in your life where you were not able to cope with daily life because you had a lot of mental things going on that were holding you down. And when I say mental, I'm not saying that you guys had any mental issues, but you did have mental activity. Um, that was making you impaired, right? So, you know, depression, stuff of that nature um, was going on with you uh, having to deal with this person and, and the way that they treated you. Um, so you guys were not able to pick yourself up the way that you normally would have, okay? <clears throat> you were very upset that this person kept to themselves, 
right? They wanted to hold on to you in some ways, but they weren't able to give you everything that you wanted from them. And that was pretty selfish, right? They were really stingy with their love and their care. Um, and they, they knew based on previous conversations with you, what it was that you saw uh, your life being or, or the type of person that you wanted in your life. Um, so they really, really did, you know, take advantage of you on that level because they already knew, you know, what you were looking for and they presented themselves as such. And then after a while, things started to change. We have the three of swords card coming through. Yes. That heartbreak, that betrayal, um, the loneliness from this person, you know, even when they were around, you may have felt a little lonely. Um, I'm feeling like you just weren't getting everything that you needed to get from this person. And it caused you a lot of grief, caused you a lot of sorrow. Um, we have three of wands energy coming through. You know, this person may have moved on from you. They may travel a lot and they have been seeing people uh, while they travel. Take it how it resonates. Uh, some of you may not know about this, though. OK, um, so they may have had to travel to the people that they were seeing behind your back. Um, I'm not getting really that this was a union to where um, it was monogamous, even if it was supposed to be. I feel like this person felt like they can have whatever they wanted and they can do whatever it was that they wanted. And people just did not have the right to to check them on it. OK. Um, this is a person that, um, enjoyed their freedom. They were always looking for the next thing. Um, and I feel like, you know, it was not enough to have you at that time because they felt like they needed something more, you know, after this person, you went into a, a state of rest, a state of peace. You're just trying to get yourself together. You, some of you may still feel like you're in a recuperation right? You're still trying to revitalize yourself and your, your energy, and you're trying to plan um, for the future, what you see your life being, what you see uh, your relationships looking like. Okay. I feel like this is after you remove those, those swords, you know, um, from your heart. Here we have three of swords over here. You took those three swords off and you hung them up. But then you took that fourth sword that no one knew you had. And you got it ready to slice the crap out of somebody if they try to hurt you again. And I know that's right. Okay. So look, I feel like Spirit is saying that you guys, you um, have earned your new beginning, right? You have been uh, the person that, the, that God wanted you to be. You have done things um, that God called you to do. Um, and because of this, you have newness coming in, whether it be a new job, new home, new uh, relationships, stuff of that nature. Um, and I say home because a lot of time we pour all of our love, our care, our nurturing into our place uh, of rest, right? To wherever we find um, that our heart is leading us. And a lot of times it's very hard to find a home but once you find one you grow to love it in a way to where it's your safe spot okay and some of you may be getting that okay for some of you you may find out that you may be expecting or someone may uh, be pregnant around you it's not going to be for everyone but I have to mention it because I'm looking at it um, but spirit is saying the newness that you craved you know the newness that you have earned is here for you and you're going to get an outpouring of this abundance, this prosperity from the universe, God, source, spirit. And, you know, they want you to really, really, really tap in to enjoy it. Okay. So an upsurge of newness, a new life for you is coming in cancers and they want you to embrace it. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and light. I love you guys. Um, if anyone needs me, the information's in the box below. My loves, you guys take care.